I was talking to old dad on the way home today, who I guess I could just call dad, but I don't want him to forget that he's old. But we were talking about the video I made yesterday about theological look at technology and digging into this idea of the word and the sacrament and how they have different directions and how there's a really unique um, way of understanding our Lutheran contribution to this whole conversation. And dad said, you should make a video about that. So this is for you, old dad. The story first. I remember one time when I was a baby pastor, I had this idea of um, like an ecumenical debate sort of thing. And I've got, I got five pastors. So there was me, the Catholic priest, the Episcopalian lady pastor, the Baptist pastor, young uh, Calvinist Baptist guy, and a Calvary Chapel guy. And we were going to do five conferences with the five of us, and we we're going to have five topics and go to each of our congregations, and and we'd each present for 15 minutes about the uniqueness of our theology. And it all fell apart pretty quick. The Baptist, and the, it became a mess. It was just me and Father Bert ended up doing it one-on-one. -on -one. But all five of us actually got together for lunch one day, and we were talking about how long our sermons were. And I remember the Episcopalian um, priest lady made a really interesting comment. She said, because the Baptist guy preached for 45 minutes, Calvary Chapel preached for 45 minutes, the the priest preached for seven minutes, and she preached for seven minutes, and I preached for like 25, right in the middle. And she said, oh, to the priest, that's because we're from a sacramental tradition, and you, Baptist and, and Calvary Chapel, you're from a word tradition. And I I sort of looked back and forth in the middle, and I said, well, what? What am I? Where do I fit into the whole mess? And I realized that the Lutheran Church, in a profound way, is the overlap of the two. Let me draw up there. Okay. So you've got the word here, and you've got the sacraments here. And the the this is kind of the definition of the Protestant church. Here's the authority of the scripture. And then here's maybe the Catholics and Orthodox and this sort of thing. And what I realized is that, hey, wait a minute. We're right in the middle. We've got both. It's one of the uniquenesses. This is why the Protestants look at the Lutherans and say, you guys are just like the Catholics. And why the Catholics look at the Lutherans and say, you're just like all those other Protestants is because we are somehow in the intersection. But, but, that's not the only thing, and this is the maybe the most important, is that even though we share this strong word tradition with the Protestants, we, we say that, say, evangelicals don't go far enough. Because while we confess the uh, clarity of the scripture, well, even they don't go for the clarity, but they say the, it, the inspiration of the scripture, the infallibility, the inerrancy of the scripture. We say, yeah, the Bible is true. But we go on to say, no, it's even more than that. The Bible has power. And in fact, the Holy Spirit uses the scripture to forgive sins. And the same thing is true when we're talking to our friends over there in Rome or the East, and, and they say, well, we have the sacraments. We say, yeah, we have the body and the blood of Jesus. We have baptism for babies that delivers the uh, gifts of God, the grace of God. But we say more, that that, in fact, brings the forgiveness of sins. So we even have a, a, a stronger sacramental doctrine than the sacrament churches, and we have a stronger Bible doctrine than the churches that have the word. So it's not just that we're the intersection of the two, but we have something else, in fact, going on above all of them. And that's what Dad said. Make a video about that. It was fun to wrestle with these ideas back at writing, has American Christianity failed? Because while the Lutheran Church agrees, for example, with the um, conservative Protestant churches about the inspiration and infallibility of the Scripture, we say it's even more. It's clear, it's sufficient, it's... Uh, it's efficacious, powerful. And when we talk about the Roman Catholic or the Orthodox, Eastern Orthodox on the other side, we say, well, you guys are right, the body and blood is there, but it's even more that the Holy Spirit is present through the Word, delivering the forgiveness of sins and God's gift of justification. So, um, so the Lutheran Church is more than just the sort of intersection between these two traditions, but it has something else unique going on in the doctrine and teaching. Hope that's helpful. Hope it's clear. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it uh, as well.